coffee. It's hard not to be biased when it comes to the ubiquitous beverage. Many of us, myself included, require it to wake up in the morning, stay awake during the day, and to have something to do when we should otherwise be working. Studies linking coffee with various health benefits get a lot of press. And now we're talking about a study appearing in the Journal of Clinical Oncology that links coffee consumption with a reduced risk of colon cancer recurrence. Researchers looked at 1,000 individuals with stage 3 colon cancer. They'd all been treated with surgery and chemotherapy, and then they completed a detailed food frequency questionnaire. Most of them drank between 1 and 3 cups of coffee per day, but a small amount, 6%, drank 4 or more cups per day. Heavy coffee drinkers were more likely to be male, white, smokers, and to have greater degrees of physical activity. After around seven years of follow-up, 35% of the cohort had experienced disease recurrence, or death. But among those heavy coffee drinkers, that rate was reduced by 50% after adjustment. Let that sink in for a minute. 50%. Has one of the most potent anti-cancer agents ever discovered been literally sitting under our nose all this time? Well, unfortunately, I'm going to pour a little bit of cold water on that idea. Now, putting aside the issue of unmeasured confounding, which is always present in studies of this type, we should remember that this study was performed within the confines of a clinical trial evaluating arenotecan for colon cancer therapy. Clinical trial patients are a different breed than your standard patient, so these results may not translate to your typical colon cancer survivor. The other issue is that food frequency questionnaires generate a ton of data. There's a lot of opportunity for data mining. In addition, there are correlates between other foods you eat and coffee that can't be adjusted for in these analyses. Put simply, we may be seeing a biscotti effect as much as we're seeing a coffee effect. Finally, what do we mean when we say coffee? Are we talking about an espresso or a venti caramel macchiato? Doesn't matter where the beans come from or how they're roasted. These are the central problems of dietary research and issues that can only be addressed in the context of randomized trials. But at this point, I say, let's do it. We've got enough data now to suggest that there's some effect of coffee. I don't think we would see a 50% reduction in cancer recurrence in a coffee trial, but we might see something. After all, coffee is a drug, a wonderful, delicious, necessary drug that goes great with pie. For MedPage Today, I'm Perry Wilson.